And you're looking at number nine, Steve Straub, a senior from Indianapolis, who will do the kicking for the Hoosiers. And he bangs it away downfield. It'll be taken on the seven yard line by BYU's Bob Preston. Mark Wilson, his first play from scrimmage on the 24. On the draw. Splitting out wide to the left side now is Davis and Wilson will go to the air on second and five. Homer Jones coming out of the backfield. Number 32, Homer Jones trying to get to the outside. Gets out across the 35. And split to the left side, Lloyd Jones, as Wilson will go upstairs again. Swings one to his running back, and that's Harry Lane. Lane to the 40 is jolted back to about the 39, almost lost the football. On third down four, Bill Davis wide to the right, and Jones split the other way, and Mark Wilson goes right over the middle to Clay Brown is tied in, and Brown is down into Indiana territory. Again, wide receivers out each way. The draw going to number 32, Homer Jones, the tailback. And look at Jones plow his way, drops a football, and Indiana might have recovered it on the 34-yard line. The Hoosiers think they did. Chuck Alexander, number 46, was in on the recovery of the football, but I believe the play had been blown dead. It was. Jones is out wide to the left, and Wilson fires away. Back over the middle, completed to tight end. Clay Brown, number 85. This is number 36. Eric Lane and Lane is down inside the 10 all the way down to the six yard line on second down two. Eric, Eric Lane, the fullback inside the five and he is brought down by Will Height, number 54, the outside linebacker. Mark Wilson, first down and goal. Homer Jones. Knocked down by Will Height, number 54, the left side linebacker, the strong linebacker, second and goal. Eric Lane near the goal line. And this time it is Eric Lane. He's over the plane for a touchdown for Brigham Young. Let's take a look again and see if we can see if he gets in there. I still say that official's got a better look at it than we have. Will Height says no, the official says yes. And the extra point try is booted up and through by Brent Johnson. And going back deep is number 40, Al Daring, a junior from Indianapolis. And fielding the ball is Lonnie Johnson at about the two. And Johnson goes out to the 20 and down he goes. And he goes down in a hurry. Tim Clifford and company on the field for the first time tonight. The Indiana offense. Brady is split out and out of the eye comes Mike Lonnie, Lonnie Johnson, Johnson rather the tailback and Johnson goes out to the 23, second down seven. The pitch back to Lonnie Johnson. Johnson pursued and chased out of bounds on third down and five. Clifford's got enough daylight for the first down. And he is smacked by Gary Coma, the middle linebacker, number 61. Play action. Clifford throwing back over the middle of the tight end, Bob Stevenson. And Stevenson is to midfield and down into BYU territory. BYU ahead by a score of 7 0. Lonnie Johnson, the tailback, down to the 42 yard line for a gain of about a yard. Indiana with a second and nine. Clifford on the option, going back to Johnson. And Johnson across the 40 is dumped out about the 37. Third down coming up for Indiana. Clifford throwing on the run as he finds his man, and there he goes. Bob Stevenson, touchdown Indiana. All of a sudden, Clifford saw Stevenson break into the clear as he beat Bob Preston, number five, the free safety, and Indiana is on the scoreboard. Kevin Kellogg up there to try to tie the ball game. And it is good, and we're locked up now with six minutes and 28 seconds. And Don, we were expecting an explosive game, and we're getting it. And Laval Edwards, the head coach of BYU, or rather Indiana to kick it off, beg your pardon. Homer Jones is back deep for BYU. Homer Jones 
Jones, a fine return to the 29. And the Cougars hungry for a bowl victory. They've been to four bowl games, counting this one in the past five years. They've never won. We're looking at head coach Lee Corso of Indiana, just completing his seventh year there. Done an excellent job. He's got a lot of people coming back. He'll only lose four starters out of this bowl game. Mark Wilson rolling left, looking to throw, and it is intercepted on the 47-yard line by Steve Mitchell, number one. Mitchell back to the BYU territory is cut down at about the 37-yard line by Danny Hanson, number 62. Dave Herringote is in as a tight end as the running back Lonnie Johnson carries the ball just shy of the 35-yard line. Lundy and Freedy are split wide for the Hoosiers. Tim Clifford at quarterback. On the draw, he goes to number 29, Jerry Bowers, and Bowers is inside the 35 to the 34. Third down, seven. Clifford completes it to number 81, the tight end, Dave Heron Goody, a senior from Whiting, Indiana, and Heron Goody has rolled out of bounds. Two tight ends, two wide receivers now in for Indiana. They go into the triple stack eye. Indiana giving a little different look, and this is Lonnie Johnson, the tailback, and Johnson is across the 25 to about the 22. Second down, five. The ball of the 21, they mark it. Score tied at seven. Lonnie Johnson off his own left tackle behind Odding and Golden. Tim Clifford calls it for the Hoosiers. Clifford, play action. Fires away into a crowd incomplete. And they're going to go for it on fourth and two. Clifford on the pitch to Lonnie Johnson. Johnson has the first down. Johnson is inside the 15. Bob Preston, number five. John Neal, number 47. The safety men make the stop. Nate Lundy splits out wide to the left side. Mike Freedy is wide to the right on first down of the 14 of BYU. Johnson. Hitting hard down near the 10, brought down by Pulusila Filiaga. And Tim Clifford, the Indiana quarterback, is three out of four for 71 yards. He's second down and seven now. Johnson on the pitch. Johnson at the 10. Johnson at the five. Johnson at the three. And now it's a first down and goal to go. Lonnie Johnson at the goal line, right at the goal line, but he didn't get in. Second and goal for the one. Play action. Clifford, not gonna, he did make it. Clifford with a second effort got in there. He was met at the two, put his head down, and goes on in. Now for the extra point try is Kevin Kellogg. And Kellogg pops it through there, and the Hoosiers go ahead by seven. So with a timeout, let's pause briefly. Back deep is Homer Jones for BYU, an excellent kickoff return man. And Steve Straub pops it downfield. It will roll back to the five, back to the three, picked up there at the two, and BYU is pinned down inside the five-yard line. Got to hurt the Cougars on this one, Merle. They're used to getting excellent field position on kickoff situations. We do have a flag down out there on the field, though, and I think we're going to have to kick it again. So Indiana, guilty of offside, and that's a no-no on a kickoff, John. Tim Clifford has had an outstanding night for the Hoosiers, and Leo Corso is not very excited, is he? Kicked it short, and taken on the run by Homer Jones. Jones is getting BYU excellent field position now at the 40-yard line. So Brigham Young comes out of the 40 with Mark Wilson at quarterback. The tailback is Homer Jones, number 32. Eric Lane, 36 at the fullback. On the tailback draw, look at Homer Jones. Midfield, he's down in Indiana territory at the 47. Running back against the green. This guy's averaging over seven yards a carry for the Cougars this year. Excellent feet, good footwork there. On the fake draw, here's Wilson looking for Plater on the near side, or make that uh, Homer Jones, who was the short man. Plater had gone deep. Tim Wilbur, number eight, had the coverage on the play as, the, as it goes incomplete. Mark Wilson, ready to go airborne. Swings it out to his running back, Homer Jones. Jones down to the 35. Jones at the 34 for a first Eric Lane make it for a first down. All right, Mark Wilson and company, and a misdirection play with Homer Jones on the go. Jones all the way down to the 20-yard line. Homer 
Chandler Jones going 15 yards for a first down. First down on the 20-yard line of Indiana. Wilson whips one to Plater, number 86, the wide receiver, and Plater is out of bounds on about the two-yard line as Steve Mitchell got him out somewhere on the two before he could get in there. Don, it was Brown on the reception. Take a look at it again. There he is, a little slant out. Right there, he should have been brought down, but good balance. Good second effort that time by Brown. Wilson may run, may throw, and he is at the flag. I believe he is in. Well, BYU's right back in business with 16 seconds to go in the first half as Mark Wilson runs it in for the touchdown. He had passed for 29 of them this year. Brent Johnson for the extra point. He's got it. We're locked up again. It's 14 all with 16 seconds left to go in the first period here in San Diego. Lonnie Johnson at the 10. The 20, 25, 30, almost broken. Dumped on the 32-yard line. Freedy is split wide to the left as Clifford puts the Indiana offensive machine in motion. Lonnie Johnson hitting hard into the middle. Goes out across the 35 to about the 37. Brought down by Gary Coma, 61, the middle linebacker. As Indiana's Tim Clifford gets the second quarter underway by handing off to number 29, Jerry Bowers. And that Indiana offensive line blows him out and sends Bowers all the way down to the 47-yard line of BYU. On the pitch. Back to Mike Carpenter, who's now in. Brought down by John Neal as he tries to swing wide to the left. Reverse. That's Freedy. And Freedy is hit back behind the line. Back into Indiana territory by Glenn Titanser. Inside handoff. Coming back to Al Derrick. Daring gets into BYU territory and is brought down by John Neal, number 47, the strong safety. He's not a very big guy, but he'll really pop you. Now it's fourth down for Indiana, and the punting unit comes on for the first time. In the third down situations, hear that? Watch the fake. Always watch the fake. Larry Lovett is back to do the kicking. And going back deep is Dave Francis. No fake on this one. Dave Francis will field it for BYU in his own 10. And he is brought down at the 11 yard line after a kick of 36 yards. And BYU with Eric Lane carrying the ball out across the 20 to the 21 yard line. Score tied at 14. Matt Braga is on the near side and Dan Plater has gone wide to the left of the top of the screen for BYU. Number 36, Eric Lane and Lane is hit just about at the line of scrimmage. On the 21, it is third down coming up. Wilson with the air, the ball deflected, incomplete. This is the first punt of the night. Tim Wilbur is back deep. He's the deep man for Indiana. That's why Clay Brown has had such a great punting average this year. Wilbur with a short return, fielding the ball at the 40, coming back three yards. That kick good for 39 yards. Indiana's ball, first down and 10. The ball at the 44 of the Hoosiers. Clifford has the option, and now he's going to fire away, and he does. And it's incomplete, intended for Nate Lundy. Wide receivers out each way. It'll be second and 10 for the Hoosiers on the Indiana 44. With a play action. To Jerry Bowers. Bowers really takes a shot at the 39 yard line. Jerry Bowers now in at fullback. Fake draw. Clifford throwing the run, and it is incomplete and put it for Bob Stevenson, who caught a touchdown pass earlier tonight. Dave Francis is back deep for the punt. As Larry Lovett pops it downfield to Francis on the 15. He's at the 20 to 25. He's at the 30. And he is knocked out of bounds at about the 32-yard line. Up over the ball is Scott Nielsen. The guards are Tidwell and Hanson. Wilson for Wilbur Jones, the tailback. And Jones is out across the 35 to about the 37. Brought down by Terry Talon, 62. Lane and Jones are the running backs. Now split out as Wilson into the air. And 
goes to Eric Lane, his fullback. Davis is split wide to the left at the top of the screen. Jones to the right side. Wilson on the pitch, going to Homer Jones. Jones breaking tackles, look at him go down to the 45-yard line of Indiana for the first down for BYU. That's the 10th first down for BYU. Dan Plater, the wide receiver, taking one right off the ground at the 31-yard line, a 14-yard pickup and another first down. Eric Lane, laid inside the 30, is dumped at about the 28 by Craig Cooper, on number 31. Earl Harmon along with Don Perkins and Howard David in San Diego. Glad to have you with us tonight across the country. Wilson will carry. And Wilson slides out of bounds inside the 25 at Indiana Territory, about the 23. Steve Carlson is now into the backfield. Homer Jones is out. Wilson. Under pressure, and down he goes. And it was Mark Rodriguez, number 57. Bill Shefflin is going to hold. This attempt will be 46 yards. And it is good. He just made it. Brent Johnson. Well, BYU is back on top on that 46-yard field goal by Brent Johnson. And the Cougars are ahead by three. And to kick it off, Brent Johnson. Kicks a line drive shot this time. And it's taken by Al Daring and fumbled, and he picks it up, and down he goes at about the 14-yard line. On the Hoosier 14, Clifford, little play action. Firing away, and it is Mike Freedy. Bill Shufflin had the coverage on the play. It's Mike Freedy split wide to the right side. Clifford staying in the air, and this time he has got Dave Herringote right over the middle of 81, and Bob Preston has to bring him down, the free safety. 5.51 to go in the first half. Corso is down as a wide receiver, and this time it is Mike Parkrader carrying, and he is brought down by Bob Preston, but not until he gets down to the 36-yard line. Mark Rader, leading ball carriers, carried 30 times on a couple of occasions this year for the Hoosiers. That's an excellent job, running there like a big guy. He's not a big guy. He's 5'7", about 180 pounds. On second down, two. Corso to the left, Freedy to the right. Lonnie Johnson, the fullback, is hit at the 35 by Filiaga. Tim Clifford, third and an inch. Quarterback sneak for the first down. Inside the 35, down about the 34, and the first down for the Indiana Hoosiers. First and 10 Indiana at the 34-yard line of BYU with the Cougars leading 17 to 14. This time the tailback, Mike Harkrader. And Harkrader pops down to the 30-yard line. Corso and Freedy are the wide receivers. Harkrader hit behind the line with a second effort. Gets him just inside the 30 at the 29. He got a couple of yards on the play. It'll be third down and five coming up for the Hoosiers. Tim Clifford being pursued. Throws on the run, and it is caught by Bob Stevenson, the tight end. John Neal makes the stop, and we have a flag on the play, and we may have a flag thrown against Indiana. Well, here comes the penalty, and it's a 15-yarder. Taking the ball back to the 30. I'd say that really hurts Indiana, but the way they're moving the ball in this series of downs, it, uh, it won't take a very long to pick that back up. Dave heron Gody comes in as a tight end for the Hoosiers. heron Gody is 6'4", 240 pounds, and a white Indiana. Corso is split wide to the right side. That's Freedy. Split to the left, and the handoff is going to Harkrader. And Harkrader, look at this little guy. Foul away, gets inside the 20 or the 30 yard line, or the down about the 27. Second down, 21. Play action. Clifford wants it all on this one, and it's incomplete. Intended for Mike Freedy, number 88. John, or check that, it was uh, number 86. Play action with Clifford. And 
a great catch by Mike Freedy, and Freedy is all the way down to the two-yard line. We've got a flag on the play. In fact, we have two flags on the play. Merle, I tell you what I think they're going to call. I think they're going to call Halverson, number 18, for the Cougars for a pass interference on this one. Let's take a look at it again. Clifford dropping back, and let's take a look at Halverson coming in, and I think he got there before the ball did. A gain of 24 yards on that pass play from Clifford to Freedy. And Mr. Cougar himself, hoping the Cougars can hold that line. The power eye, the stack eye, the full house eye, if you will. The tailback, Mike Parkrader, right down to the goal line. Rogovan, 42, Johnson, 44, Hartrader, 24, down the backfield in the eye. And this time it is Hartrader again, and he has stopped short of the goal line for the Cougar defense. This time it's Clifford. What a fake by Clifford as he takes it in. Dave Francis is over there, but Clifford, beautiful faking, carried the ball himself. 33 seconds to play in the first half. BYU will get one more shot. This is Indiana's first bowl appearance since the Rose Bowl, played in January of 1968. And this game, as you saw, well, there's the story right there. Going back deep for BYU are Eric Lane and Homer Jones. Lane is 36, Jones is 32. Kevin Kellogg will kick it off for Indiana. Hoosiers on top by a score of 21 to 17, leading the nation's 10th ranked team and undefeated BYU. Boots one on the ground. Will be taken on the 12 yard line by Homer Jones. Jones at the 25, fumbles a football and falls on it, just shy of the 30-yard line. 26 seconds to go now in the first half. Splitting wide to the left, Lloyd Jones. And on the handoff, it is Homer Jones. Jones out across the 30 to the 32, brought down by Mark Rodriguez, number 57, a sophomore from Indianapolis. Head coach Lavelle Edwards looking on, making his fourth bowl appearance in the last five years. Hasn't won yet. Fast becoming the winningest coach in BYU history. You know, his counterpart, uh, Lee Corso, has just absolutely captured everybody out here in San Diego. He's one of the real funny guys, uh, besides being an outstanding football coach, but he's unbelievable when he gets up to speak, and he's really put on a show here. Mark Wilson, he back down from behind the 97, Brent Tisdale. And that's the second sack for Indiana's Hoosiers. 15 seconds to go in the first half. BYU with the ball. This time it's Scott Phillips. Phillips at the 40. Phillips gets up to the 44 with seven seconds to go. And Steve Mitchell makes the tackle with six seconds to go. BYU has stopped the clock. Hasn't played an awful lot this year, but did pick up 300 and some yards there, averaging seven yards a carry for the Cougars, which is Pretty good average per carry. Personal foul against Indiana helped the Cougars out. Jones is to the right, ragged of a lot. Wilson's got to get it all on this one, and it's incomplete as the clock shows one second left, and he'll get one more shot. That's Davis put to the left. Wilson with too much time, and he is going for Jones, and Jones is out of bounds on the three-yard line as the first tap comes to an end. Tim Wilbur, number eight, got him out of bounds, and Homer Jones got it inside the five, but he couldn't get it to the flag. We are at 21-17, Indiana leading Brigham Young as we start the second half. Here's the deep man, and here's Merrill Harmon. Thank you very much, Howard, David, and the kickoff is gonna go back into the end zone and is fumbled out of the end zone by Al Derrick of Indiana. First down, Indiana. Play action with Clifford. And it's incomplete as Clifford was trying to hit Bob Stevenson. Second and ten for Tim Clifford. And Hartrader, number 24, bangs his way across the 20 to about the 22. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. Third down eight. Clifford to his tight end, Bob Stevenson. At the 26-yard line, he'll be short of a first down by four. Tim Wilbert pops it away, or check that, uh, Larry Lovett. And Francis.
Francis is down to the 39-yard line. Dave Francis. Hoping he could have done better on the return. Mark Wilson goes to the air. And he hits number 85. Lavelle Edwards hoping that his team can keep her going here. They have the ball on the 40-yard line of the Hoosiers. Mark Wilson to the air. Right down the sideline to Dan Plater. And Plater gets inside the 15. Play action with Wilson. And he lost one for Homer Jones touchdown. A soft touch by Mark Wilson. Just laid the ball up there beautifully. And Johnson's got it. All right, the kickoff, and this one by Brent Johnson and taken by Daring of Indiana. Daring out across the 25, returns it to the 30-yard line, just shy of the 30. And the Hoosiers will put the ball in play there, trailing by three. Lundy is split out wide to the left. Mike Freedy is split to the right for the Hoosiers. There's Lee Corso on the sideline. Clifford, good thing. Sean and dumps it off to the right on the screen to Hart Crater. Jerry Bowers is now the fullback. Fake to Bowers, Clifford on the pitch to Hart Crater. At the 30, 35, at the 40, first down. Knocked out of bounds on the 43. Mike Freedy, 88, who was out there as a wide receiver, gave him a great block as Bob Preston, number five, chased him out of bounds. Indiana on the move again, though. Clifford going to Jerry Bowers, and Bowers gets back to the line of scrimmage, and that's about it. Action by Clifford and a roll to the right and throwing on the run that's incomplete. Bob Stevenson, 84, was the target. Lundy goes to the left, Freedy to the right. Clifford on the draw to Hart Raider. Hart Raider down into BYU territory at the 48, will be short of a first down. Love it, his kick twice, 45 and 39 yards. He hangs this one a mile high. Francis calling for the fair catch. Takes it and drops a football. Indiana goes after it. And the Hoosiers have they recovered have it. at about the two-yard line. Good hustle that time by the Hoosiers. A lot of times when the guy signals for a fair catch, everybody lets up. The Hoosiers did not. Taylor and Bowers are the running backs. Johnson is in there. Park Raider. Is just about at the line of scrimmage. Bob Taylor is out. Steve Corso is in. Corso is split way, way out to the left side. And it's Hart Grader to the goal line, but he is stopped for the Cougars. So Cougar, the Cougar defense really stiffens. Chuck Ian, number 78, a freshman from Leighton, Utah, in on the stop. As we see Lee Corso's seven-year record in Indiana. This year, he was seven and four. Right now, third down and goal. Revert the option. Hart Raider dives. He's at the flag, and he is in. A touchdown. Mike Hart Raider scoring for Indiana, and the Hoosiers go back in front. Tom of the quarterback, number six, the middle linebacker coming in, 41 red, getting the shot at him, but Hart Raider drags him across the goal line. Kevin Kellogg Hart for the extra point, and he adds that. Ball will be put down on the 24-yard line. Let's take a look at number 36 for the Indiana Hoosiers, number 36 being Aaron Arbuckle going down to cover. Right there, he takes one lick, keeps right on hustling. Special teams, a big part of the game. Mark Wilson goes upstairs, and it is picked off by Indiana. It is stoner grade number four, or Tim Wilbur. It was Wilbur, number eight, who made the interception. He got wide to the right now for Indiana, number 89, Nate Lundy. First down of the BYU 38. Run, run! This is Lonnie Johnson. Second down call for Tim Clifford. And the pitch goes to Lonnie Johnson. Back the other way, and he is deep out of arms by Bob Preston, number five. And we have a flag thrown on that play. Personal foul against BYU. The ball in the 15. That's Nate Lundy split to the right. And the pitch back to Johnson again. They try that same play, and Johnson is knocked down after about a four-yard pickup on a second down and six for Indiana. The ball at the 11 of BYU. 
This is Harkrader trying to get to the outside. Which is, cut, is knocked out of bounds by John Neal, number 47, around the five yard John line. Neal ready by the bounds. Indiana, the stack eye. And the ball is going to be thrown by Clifford incomplete this intended for Bob Taylor coming out of the backfield. Here's the stack eye again on fourth down one. Clifford going to Hartgrader, and Hartgrader is across the five. Hartgrader has the first down at the four yard line. Hartgrader pounds his way inside the three as the Hoosiers hit the line of scrimmage on second down and goal for the BYU three. Clifford fires away and he throws it out of the end zone intended for Steve Corso, but I really believe he threw the ball away. Corso was well covered. On third and goal, let's see what he's got in mind. Lundy in motion back to the left. The option, Hartgrader didn't make it. Two out of three field goals this year. He kicked one of 46 yards against Northwestern. This will be a 21-yard effort. Angle right, and we have a flag on the play. And we have a delay of the game call against Indiana. 26-yard attempt is on the way, and it's good. So Indiana adds three more to the scoreboard. And the Hoosiers go out in front by a score of 31 to 24. It'll be Homer Jones on the five. The 20. At the 25 and at the 26 he goes down. So a nice return by Homer Jones. Indiana started to do the thing they wanted to do, uh, Don. They want to try to control uh, the clock and keep that ball away from Mark Wilson. We talked about that at the top of the show in one game this year against Wisconsin, as a matter of fact. 12 minutes in the fourth quarter. Wilson hits Lane coming out of the backfield. He's up to the 41. 31-24 Indiana. Wilson going upstairs. And again, he hits Jones coming out of the backfield. And Jones is at midfield and will be close to a first down. Mark Wilson. 226 yards in the air now and two interceptions. Wilson back over the middle of the tight end. Clay Brown. And Brown is inside the 35 of the 34. Jeff Yedman, 25, makes the tackle. Split out to the right, Matt Braga. There's Braga on the slant and incomplete at the 25. Second down as Wilson on the roll. Fires got an open man. That's his tight end, Clay Brown again. And Brown is down to the 20 yard line for a first down. And Wilson swings it out to Eric Lane. Lane at the 20. Lane's got to get the 15. Lane going to the 12 yard line. Splitting to the left side this time is Bill Davis. Wide to the right side, Lloyd Jones. Uh-oh, nothing going there. Eric Lane and Homer Jones for the setbacks. They split. They go into a pro set. Third down. Wilson, the rush is on. Throws it back into the middle incomplete. Brent Johnson coming on. Lee Corso looking at that scoreboard if he makes it. Then BYU is right back in business, and the kick is good from 29 yards out. And BYU keeps crawling up there. The Hoosiers 31 and Brigham Young 27. Get him, Mark Brady. Come on, buddy. That's daring in the end zone. The ball is dropped, and he covers it, and Indiana will bring it out of the touch back to the 20. Mark Brady at about the 22. Good play action by Clifford, but run out of the pocket now, and he threaded it is intercepted by BYU on the 34-yard line. That's the first interception of the night, and Brigham Young picks one off, and what a happy Cougar crowd. Number 18, Tim Halverson for his third interception of the year. Probably a pass that Clifford should not have thrown. We're looking at it from the ground level. He's got trouble. It's intended to be a drop back. He has to roll out because the pressure's too great, and right there he throws it into a crowd of blue shirts. And one of those blue shirts, number 18, Tim Halverson, comes up with the interception for the Cougars. Clifford is now 9 out of 20, 157 yards and one interception, and Lavelle Edwards feels better about the whole thing right now. He don't look real happy. <laughs> he feels happy. Wilson's going to carry it. 
And Wilson runs out of bounds at about the 27. Back to the live action. Wilson's got an open man, and he hits that man. That is Clay Brown, the tight end, number 85, and he's got a first down. First down to the Hoosier 15. A minute and 50 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Indiana on top, 31-27. Wilson, he's got a touchdown to Eric Lane. You saw Mark Wilson just stand straight up and throw 15 yards right over the middle to Eric Lane for the touchdown, and the Cougars go in front. Brent Johnson for the extra point try. He's got it right up the middle. A minute 42 seconds to go in the third quarter. And Brigham Young has moved back in front of this ball game. They now lead the Hoosiers by three at 34 to 31. So Brigham Young is back in front and Lee Corso, he's not listening to high five, I'll tell you that. Although he might be, he's quite a guy. Darren near the goal line. 15, 20, 25, daring all the way to the 31-yard line. First and 10, Indiana on the Indiana 31. This is Hart Crater. And the Brigham Young defense digs in to stop him after about a one-yard pickup. Columbia is to the right. Second and nine. Clifford wants it all as he goes for Freedy, and it's incomplete of the 25-yard line. Clifford under the gun, and it's incomplete. Lonnie Johnson was the intended receiver. Ed St. Pierre was putting the pressure. It looked like they were trying to set that screen right, but it broke down. 45 seconds to go in the third quarter. Kicks of 45 and 39 yards by Larry Lovett today. Drives it downfield. Dave Francis at the 30. And good coverage for the Hoosiers as Francis is dropped on the 33-yard line by Lucky Wallace, number 70. Wilson going to Homer Jones. His tail back, and he is dropped at the 35. After a yard gain, it'll be second down and nine with a half minute to go in the third quarter. He's at it again with that strong right arm, and he hits his tight end, Clay Brown, who again is open over the middle. He's at the 45, now to the 47, and a first down for Brigham Young. So we have reached the end of the third quarter. Jones is split to the left, Davis to the right, and Wilson is ready to go to the air again. Back over the middle, and it is caught. It is caught by Clay Brown, number 85. Once again, the tight end doing an excellent job, a good pass that time. Thrown by quarterback Mark Wilson. Scott Phillips, the tailback. Phillips is chased out of bounds inside the 30. Wide to the left side is Bill Davis. Wide to the right, Lloyd Jones. Again, Scott Phillips behind the pulling guard makes his cut inside to the 24. Randy Tidwell, number 60, the left guard pulled to lead the play, but Phillips didn't get too much on that one. Bill, Dan Plater, rather, is split wide to the left, and Matt Praga is to the right for BYU. And it's completed to Eric Lane, coming out of the backfield inside the 20, down to the 18. Wide receivers out each way. Wilson rolling right. Going to carry the ball at the 15, and he is rustled down around the 11 by Craig Walls, number 60, the sophomore linebacker from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. BYU with 27 first downs, Indiana with 15, and Wilson will stay upstairs, and he cuts it loose right over the middle after a good rush by Indiana. And it was intended for Lane, but it fell incomplete. Wilson rolling to the sideline, fires away, incomplete. And the tight end, Clay Brown, was covered by Dart Ramsey. Mark Wilson, third down and ten. Back over the middle and incomplete. Intended for Dan Clay, Clay Brown. Uh, no, check that. Clay Brown, number 85, the tight end again. And Dave Weir, number 11, was back Dave there on the Weir pass coverage. The ball will be held on the 18, making it a 28-yard effort. Brent pops it right through the middle. And the Cougars put three more on the board. 28-yard field goal for Brigham Young. Brent Johnson ready to boot it away. Get out, come on. It is Derek on the 
one. And he is drilled down at the 17 yard line. So now the Indiana Hoosiers have the football on a first down and 10, the ball near the 18 yard line of Indiana. And the pitch going to Lonnie Johnson. Johnson at the 20 is beat down right there by Glenn Red, number 41. Second down, seven. Clifford to Hartgrader. Hartgrader driving for the first down, may have it. Up over the ball goes Lucky Wallace, the center, as Tim Clifford brings his Hoosiers to the line of scrimmage. The ends stay in tight, and a wide receiver to the left. Clifford on the quarterback sneak powers his way. They kind of wedge him out up there with Golden and Phipps leading the charge, and it's a first down for the Hoosiers. Clifford with a play action. Gonna go for the bomb. He cranks it out there for Lundy, and it's incomplete. Take that Freedy. Mike Freedy is complete. Second down, 10. Lonnie Johnson across the 35 to the 37 and Bob Preston. The free safety, number five, makes the tackle on Johnson. And right there, you're going to see number five, Preston, come in and make a clear open field tackle. And Hartwater gets the call. He fights his way. He really came up with a second effort. And he might have picked up the first down. If he did, he did it on second effort and third effort. Clifford throwing on the run, and he completes it to Jerry Bowers coming out of the backfield, and Bowers crosses the 45. He's out of bounds on about the 47-yard line. This is Hartgrader, who can throw and does, and he's got to be short, his receiver fell down the side. Hartgrader going for the first down, and the little guy plugs away and gets near the 49-yard line, and he will be very close on this one. Lundy is the wide receiver right for the Hoosiers. Clifford firing, and it is incomplete at the 33-yard line, intended for Lundy and Bill Shefflin had the coverage on the play. Second down, 10 of the 49 of Indiana. Play action with Clifford. Throwing it and almost intercepted. Third down and 10 of the 49. Clifford going to the near side. Incomplete intended for Freedy and his fourth down and 10 from the 49 yard line as Tim Halverson had the coverage on the play. A beautiful punt by Lovett. And it rolls into the end zone. So the touchback. Brigham Young's Mark Wilson staying in the air to control the football by the air. Throws to Eric Lane for about four yards. It'll be second down six. It's a crucial series of downs over Indiana. They've got to stop BYU. Scott Phillips, the tailback. One setback remains. Wilson looking for Phillips and complete. Scott the split wide. Dark Ramsey, 21, had the coverage. Tim Wilbur is deep for Indiana. Hoosier should get pretty good field position out of this. But good coverage by Brigham Young. And the ball is picked up by Wilbur. And downfield he goes. Nobody covered. Wilbur on the way. Looks like the play will stand. It's a touchdown, Indiana. That ball, you saw it at the ground, and nobody seemed to go after it to cover it. It almost hit one uh, Indiana player, and Wilbur just picked up the ball and goes 55 yards down the sideline. Let's take a look at it again. The ball hits short, and I think it hits Clay Brown. No, number 60, Greg Walls in the back. Tim Wilbur, who was back there waiting to field it, picked it up very wisely. Gets a little blockers there, gets out of a little traffic. Number 63 throwing a good block for him is Terry Talon. And he high steps it all the way. Clay Brown cannot catch him. Devin Kellogg. The senior from Attica, New York, puts Indiana back into the lead. And a 15-yard penalty against Indiana for unsportsmanlike conduct. 
causes Kellogg to have to kick the ball from his 25. It is taken by Homer Jones at the 30, and he is back to the 40-yard line. Mark Wilson has thrown for three touchdowns tonight for Brigham Young. He's well over the 300-yard mark. Makes the draw. And it is intercepted on the 45-yard line by Indiana. Lundy splits to the left. The ends are in tight. 6.42 remaining to play. Clifford on the option, on the pitch now, going to Hartrader, and Hartrader got back to the line of scrimmage, and that was about all. Wide to the right, Mike Freedy, top of the screen, Lundy split to the left. Play action with Clifford, the rush is on, he fires, he completes it to his tight end, Bob Stevenson. Stevenson at the 45, trying to get the first down, knocked out of bounds by Johnny Neal, number 47, back to the line of action. Clifford goes to the tailback, Johnny Johnson, and Johnson bangs for about seven, almost eight at the 36. Handing off to Johnson, the running back. On the right side of that Hoosier line, Phipps leading the charge, but the offensive line all getting a part of the action. And flags go down all over the place before Indiana could get the play underway. And we have an uh, illegal procedure call against the Hoosiers. Lundy is split to the left, and the ends are in tight. This is the fullback, Jerry Bowers, and Bowers bangs down to the 35. Clifford to Johnson. Johnson, a big hole on the right side, inside the 30, down to the 26. Jerry Bowers through the middle, plowing inside the 15 to the 14. Bill Shefflin brings him down inside the 15. This is Johnson. Johnson goes to the 12. Second down. Johnson met with a solid jarring tackle at the 11 yard line by Filiaga. Clifford throwing incomplete. Intended for Heron Goody, the tight end. That'll bring the field goal unit on. Fake. And it does not work. Number 13, Mark Suter, blocked down by Kama, and another big play by Kama and Bill Shefflin coming. Scott Phillips out of the backfield. Pulled down across the 25-yard line. Minute 52 seconds left in the game. Wilson fires away. Braga is at the 39, and it's a first down for BYU. Mark Wilson rolling, looking, and throwing, and it's complete to Clay Brown, the tight end of the 45. Steve Mitchell, number one, had the coverage for Indiana. As Wilson throws up the middle, and he goes to his running back, Eric Lane, and Lane is brought down to the 44 by Dark Ramsey, number 21. Mark Wilson going for the first down. Trying to get out of bounds. He's at midfield. Did he get out of bounds? He apparently did. He's got a first down. Chased out by Craig Kumaro. First down, BYU. Wilson with a lot of time. Still looking. Throws the ball away. Wilson looking and throwing back over the middle of Phillips. Scott Phillips down the sideline is knocked out of bounds and around the 24-yard line by Steve Mitchell. Wilson's got to carry the ball, and he's inside the 20 at the 18, and now you know what they have in mind. And BYU with a timeout. Wilson at the 15. Wilson down at the 10-yard line with 12 seconds left, 11 seconds. And Brigham Young calls a timeout. Johnson will be kicking from the 17-yard line, making it a 27-yard effort. Angle at the hash mark. The kick is blocked by Indiana. Indiana has blocked the kick. The ball shanked off to the left. I'm not sure who got a hand on the ball. Maybe nobody did, but Craig Kumaro, the way that Kumaro was coming in there, he threw his hands up. Possibly he did not touch the ball. And the field is flooded. We have flags dropped all over the place. Indiana to kill the clock now. BYU has used its timeout. Clifford goes back. Clock running at three and two, and the Indiana Hoosiers have upset Brigham Young 
undefeated, ranked ninth in one poll, tenth in another, and the Brigham Young winning streak has come to an end at 11 games, but what a Super Bowl game this was, as Indiana wins it by one, 38 to 37, that's the end of the 1979 second annual Holiday Bowl, here are the trophies for the most valuable players, and Tim Wilbur, the defensive MVP of Indiana, and, of course, the Indiana Hoosiers are extremely happy, and Mark Wilson is heartbroken, the fine All-American quarterback of BYU. And Lee Corso and Lavelle Edwards congratulate each other to say goodbye. It's been a great ball game, and the Indiana Hoosiers won it by a score of 38-37. Merle Herman with Don Perkins and Howard David saying so long from San Diego.